Happening today, voters across New York will head to the polls to decide on school budgets. In some districts, people are also voting on school board candidates. Right now, polls are open in many districts and others. They don't open until 7 o'clock this morning, but all polls are closing at 9 tonight. And of course, we will have the results for you tonight right here on NBC3 and online at CNYCentral.com. Brandon Roth is live this morning in Camillus to tell us exactly what's on the line today. He's live at West Genesee High School talking with Superintendent Dr. Chris Brown. Brandon. Hey, good morning, guys. Well, when you talk about school budgets, uh, the West Genesee School District has really gotten a reputation for having some of the lowest tax rates and maintaining those in some tough times. And we have Dr. Chris Brown, Superintendent, here. And Let's, Dr. Brown, let's talk about that because that is pretty, you actually have one of the lowest tax rates in the state, but you've been able to maintain a very high level of academic programs, athletic and, and music and those things. We've been, we've been very fortunate to have uh, the community support over the years for our school budgets, and uh, because of that, we've been able to operate very efficiently in making sure that we've still got the programs that students need and that parents want. Um, but also, they've been very, very successful. We've, we've been able to do it in a budget package that, that's been efficient. Because the, the Governor Cuomo's tax cap, has really created a lot of challenges for school districts. It has, you know, when you consider uh, schools used to tax, you know, five plus percent, I, you know, back in the day. Mm -hmm. uh, nowadays, you're you're in that, you know, two to three percent probably uh, for school districts. Here's my question though, because when that came out, there's a lot of doom and gloom that we're not going to be able to function. We're going to have to cut everything. And you guys have not, you've, you've haven't had to do that. You've actually thrived. What's, what's your secret for being able to do that? Well, I think one of the things that happened four or five years ago is our staff agreed to a wage freeze. And what that allowed us to be able to do is it allowed us to be able to, to create a longer term budget plan that uh, able, was able to get them some raises moving forward, but it also allowed us to maintain programs. So cooperation with the teachers union is critical. Uh, gigantic. And then, you know, because of that today, we're able to operate efficiently and successfully right. and everybody's been pretty happy. Right. We're here all the time highlighting your, your music programs, your sports programs. Absolutely. Yeah. We're very, very proud of what we do. We've and won academic awards nationally. Yeah, national academic awards and yeah. fine art awards and athletic yeah. awards and it's it's been a good thing for us. So you're proof that there, that formula can work. One last quick point, uh, there's school let board elections going on as well across the state and one of the issues is going to be common core testing. I think so. I th think in some school board elections you may find people running because of their feelings about uh, Common Core mm -hmm. or the testing associated with it. Right. So uh, you may see some, some different names at the polls, the polls than you've seen in the past probably. Right. So that's an issue we could see this year as well. Absolutely. Well, last point, the, the basically you've maintained the same level for voters coming out in dist district. What can they expect with this budget? This budget maintains programs. It's within the budget than the governor's tax cap and it, it uh, was within the thresholds so that taxpayers can receive any state rebates that may be available to them as well. Okay, there you have it. West Genesee School Superintendent Dr. Chris Brown this morning with us and keep in mind that the polls uh, here as well as across New York State are open until 9 o'clock tonight. Guys, let's right, take it back Brandon, to you. Thanks so much.